Uh, we're at Bungor Rock Hole on Matu country in Western Australia. We're here in the front of this rock hole uh, because we've been installing some water monitoring equipment in this rock hole. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to look at the, the impacts of camels on these water holes. Australia is one of the uh, few places in the world with large numbers of wild camels and uh, lots of camels were brought here to the Australian desert and now they're wild, they're feral and camels are pretty well adapted to the desert but when there's a lot of them and, and not a lot of water they can do a lot of damage to these water holes. A, a mob of camels can take a great deal of water out of a water hole that would otherwise mean that water stays there for longer in the landscape. The other thing they do is that camels produce a lot of feces. Often those feces get into the water holes. That can really foul up the water holes, make them um, uninhabitable for a lot of aquatic wildlife and also make, them, make the water undrinkable for some other fauna. So one of the things we're looking at in these water holes is the amount of oxygen in the water, the amount of oxygen that's dissolved in the water. You can take that sample pretty easily, but one of the things with dissolved oxygen is that it changes at every point during the day. So unless you can take the sample at exactly the same time every day, the, the results are not that meaningful. And, and that's really difficult in the desert where uh, it's hard to get to these, these rock holes. It's often really far distances. And so the Matu rangers don't visit these rock holes that often. And that makes getting reliable water measurements difficult. So what we're doing is installing some water monitoring equipment that will stay here in the rock hole while no one's here collecting that information. Um, we're also putting out camera traps, so little remote cameras that sit out here and they take photos when animals come down to the water holes. And our idea is to take a look and work out exactly when camels are drinking and then see if we can pick up the signature of that in the water holes. What happens to the dissolved oxygen levels in the water? What happens to the water depth right after that? One of the common management strategies here in the Australian deserts is to control camel numbers, um, to cull camels. But it's a, a difficult process and it's an expensive process. So part of the evidence we're hoping to gather through this water hole monitoring is um, to understand the actual impact of camels, you know, how severe is that impact, and also then understand whether the investment that the conservation community is making in controlling camel numbers is having an effect on water hole health. In the desert, water is kind of like the fabric of life, um, both culturally and ecologically. The Matu are an Australian Aboriginal group um, that live in this desert land here in Western Australia. And, um, for the Matu people, it's also a, a, a strong connection to their cultural heritage. A lot of their, their stories and um, customs are, are bound up with water holes in the desert. Our aim is to, to set up a water monitoring process that the indigenous ranger groups, the Matu rangers here, can carry forward that, that blends technology and their traditional knowledge of these water holes and allows them to monitor these really robustly but also effectively through time.